What's up, y'all? Just want to answer a couple questions before we get into this video. Number one being wingbone calls. A lot of you all are asking where can you get a wingbone call from me. I was supposed to have a batch of them made and up for sale before turkey season, but I didn't get enough made. And now that season's open, I've either been stuck at work or out in the woods hunting. I have not had time to work on them. But I will be, now that season's winding down, I will be working on them every chance I get. And when I've got a good batch of I don't know, 15, 20, 25 of them made. I'll put them up for sale on my website. So keep an eye out on my website, catmanoutdoors.com. And I will also post on Instagram, Facebook. That's that's probably the three places you'll you'll find out first is Instagram, Facebook, or just check on my website. It'll be on the homepage at catmanoutdoors.com when they're ready. Can't give an exact date. Uh, just as soon as I can get a whole bunch of them made, I'll, I'll post them up and they'll be first come, first serve. Uh, the other question is, a couple of y'all asked about the hats. Those are also on my website. They're up for sale now. I don't know how much longer they'll last. They're kind of selling out fairly quick. And um, they took about three months to get these camo ones in, so I won't have any more for a while. So if you're interested in the hat, check it out now before they're gone. So this video is day two in Kentucky, my second day hunting in Kentucky. First day was pretty uneventful. It, there just weren't I heard a couple early but I just didn't get into anything so we're jumping right into day two which was actually a pretty quiet day but I may have got into a bird I'm not going to spoil it we'll just jump right into it hunting in Kentucky this morning I heard a bird somewhere up in here yesterday was never able to get on him Sun came up about an hour and a half ago. Heard some roost gobbles on another property. Decided to come back here. Oops. Did not know there's an eagle nest up here. These two eagles are flying around. They're not happy. I'm gonna leave them alone. Try to find this gobbling bird. Oh, he's not gobbling now. I don't know if he's still here or not. Alright, we got a two good listening spot up here. He drops a steep right there. I'm gonna sit here in the shade. See if I can get an answer. I have a feeling it's gonna be quiet. But you never know. All right, it's time to try something else. Trying a new chunk of woods here. Got plenty of land to roam. Hopefully they're talking. It's about getting to be midday. 11.30. Oh, it's a little bit past this prime. Guess I'll let this one go. Catch and release. I think this is fresh scratch. Oh, it looks like armadillo sign, but I can't really tell. It's not really dug in. Yeah, they kicked it. Oh, that's scratch. Yeah, that's scratch. Okay. I haven't really seen much armadillo sign out here. Look at that bird. I'm going to sit here and call. We got that hollow. This hollow, real steep up here. I'm gonna sit and see if I can get a gobble. Sit here for like 10 or 15 minutes. I'm not gonna waste too much time. I got a lot of land to cover, so I'm just trying to get a gobble out of something so I know where a bird is. Alright, I'm going to stop every now and again and call down in the different hollows, try to get a gobble. 
once again I won't bore y'all with the details but if I do get into something interesting I'll let you know got a little bit of walking to do here I I just called and I hear a turkey coming He slipped up on me, quiet. I just heard footsteps. Good gosh, it's a two-year-old. Quiet two-year-old. I, he, he was buggering out of there. I seen him come from behind that blow-down cedar tree. He was between two hickory trees and looked at me. I didn't, couldn't see his beard. I seen he had a red head. Then he started walking away. And I seen a glimpse of him. And I saw his beard. And he started walking away. I was like, oh, I'm not going to get a shot. But he stepped out to the left just a little bit. I shot him while he's walking. Almost missed him. I wasn't even filming when I called. I got to the end of this point here. And I called a couple times and sat down. I was fixing to head back out the ridge and walk one more ridge before I tried another spot. First Kentucky bird. It's my fourth bird of the season. Now, I've seen eight birds die. This is the fourth one I've killed been a heck of a season. One of two for Kentucky. Shoot yeah. Did not expect that. Look at this. He's a two-year-old bird. I mean a long beard, full fan, but look at he's got nothing for spurs. Almost like Jake Spurs. Shoot yeah. Midday quiet bird down. What time is it? 12.53. Well, I had enough signal on this ridge top to check them in. I think we are legal. Got to fill it out on my harvest log. Other than that, I got a confirmation number, and we're good to go. All right, we're going to step it off. Thirty-five yards. Thanks for watching, y'all. Hopefully, I'll get a shot at one more bird this year, maybe a couple. It's almost time to get into some catfishing, just fishing in general.